Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share seven daily habits. So these are like little easy things you can do every single day that I did that I truly believe are what helped me lose 45 pounds and keep it off all these years. And even now, even being freaking pregnant, which is still so weird to say out loud, I still have these as part of my daily routine because they really have become such an impactful part of my life that I know have allowed me to not only lose all that weight, but maintain it. Most of the time I talk about things that I ditched or removed from my diet or my lifestyle to lose the weight, but I really wanted to focus on those easy things that you can add in because honestly, that's where it started for me. I didn't do my restrictive dieting that I had done for all those years in the past. I gave up all that stuff. I stopped the extremes and my whole life before had been like restriction, cutting, what do I need to take out? So this is really focused on the things that I started bringing into my day, those little habits, that really added up to a huge full lifestyle transformation. I know if you're like in the middle of it, like you're still trying and battling to figure out how to lose weight or how to be healthier, it feels really overwhelming and you feel like you've tried it all because I mean, that's how I felt literally for years. I'm like, I don't know what else to do. I feel like I have done everything, every magazine and everyone out there is telling me I need to do to lose this weight and be healthier and nothing is sticking or it lasts for a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden it's just so restrictive or so crazy that it's not something that I can maintain. So when I finally flipped the script and was like, okay, forget that, what can I do each day that'll get me one step closer to really the life that I want. And I think I started just envisioning the person I wanted to be. What did that girl look like? What did her lifestyle look like? What kind of stuff did she do every day? And that was less about removing things and more about starting to add things into my day. So one of the very first, most simple, easiest things I did was I started adding greens to every meal. So I say greens, it really could be any vegetable. The more colorful, the better. But for me, greens were simple. That meant I could add spinach with my eggs in the morning. I could throw some broccoli with my lunch in the afternoon. I could add whatever I wanted, some other vegetable to my plate at dinner. And it seems kind of like a duh, but it's not. If you think about it, like look at your day. A lot of us, myself included back then, I was maybe eating greens once a day, like a salad or something. I wasn't having them consistently throughout the day. And what I found was not only did I feel better because I was getting more nutrients from those veggies, but I also had less room for the other stuff. So if I started by putting a bunch of greens on my plate, then there was less room for like the french fries. I still maybe ate some, but I didn't eat quite as many. So it really started to like not only change the way I was eating, but made me feel so much better just energy wise and otherwise. Number two is I started giving myself or saying or repeating or whatever positive affirmations. And I know this sounds kind of woo woo to some people. And it wasn't so much that I'd like look in the mirror and be like, you are amazing. You got this. Like if that works for you, that's great. That's not really my personality, but it was more just like an internal conversation. And I tried just changing the conversation, the dialogue and the narratives that I had in my head. Whereas before I'd look in the mirror and maybe in my head, I would like think like, Oh, like, you look so like pudgy today or like that type of stuff. And I'd say those things to myself, not even consciously, but instead I started more consciously having little affirmations where I would like think to myself, like you look beautiful today. Like you're doing a great job. Like any of that little stuff that you can think of, it can be one thing or it can be multiple things. Finding positive things to say inside your head or out loud to yourself or write them down, whatever works for you is really going to help build your self esteem and your confidence. So even as simple as like you're doing great, that can make a huge difference. If you wake up and you feel like you're struggling mentally and physically to like feel good about yourself, whether that's about your body or your work or your relationships or anything else, having those little daily affirmations can really be impactful to starting to switch your mindset. And when you switch your mindset, it also impacts your actions. And I think that that's one thing I unlocked during my own journey was I had no idea how much my negative self-talk was impacting the actions and the habits each day. Because when I told myself I was, I mean, this is gonna sound harsh, but these are the things I thought in my head, I was fat and lazy and unattractive and everything else. Then I 
acted on that. I didn't do anything to take better care of my body because I was like, this is just who I am, right? So once I started sh like shifting that script in my head, it really started to impact how I acted and how I showed up for myself every day. Number three, I started using my hand as a healthy portion size. And I I'm sure I found this like in a magazine somewhere at some point, but now being a sports nutrition specialist and working with registered dietitians, it really has become a staple. And you'll see this in my meal plans, whether it's the hot body meal plan or my seven day slim down or 14 day shape up meal plans. By the way, those are all really designed to help you kind of transition from that restrictive diet culture to learn to nourish your body, but also give you some freaking serious results. So if weight loss is one of your results, definitely recommend those plans. But the hand is really a good basic guide you'll see in them. And essentially it was like, okay, my protein at each meal, I should have about 20 minimum grams of protein, right? That's about the size of my palm. So if I had a chicken breast, piece of fish, steak, whatever it is, about the size of your palm. Your portion of fat, cheese, avocado, butter, whatever, about the size of your thumb. And then my grains, maybe about the portion of my fingers and then fill the rest of the plate with veggies <laughs> and so that's really what i stuck to so kind of going back to number one with those greens or veggies on every meal but when it came to like my fats carbs and proteins i use that hand and i still do today to eyeball what a healthy measurement looks like and my portions definitely shrunk down it was still plenty of food it's exactly what i needed but i was eating way too much even when i was trying to eat healthier which obviously it's better for you but it was still too much. Number four, I created a consistent bedtime and bed routine, like my whole sleep routine. Before that, I would go to bed all over the place, partially because my job was kind of all over the place, but also I just would be really tired some nights and fall asleep at nine, and then other nights would be like wired and up until 12. And also it sometimes was depending on when I took my thyroid medication, but I had to get really consistent. And I noticed that when I started going to bed at the same time, every single night and obviously then hopefully waking up at the same time in the morning which naturally started to happen when i consistently went to bed at the same time because your body gets on like a cycle and clock i made better choices the next day whether that meant i woke up and felt energized to work out or exercise in some way or it just meant that because i was rested i had more capacity to be able to make healthy decisions and how i nourished my body how i thought about my body i wasn't tired and fatigued and my hormones weren't all crazy from having like weird hours of sleep and not getting enough sleep because when you don't get enough sleep you end up making worse choices it's just a fact like you just will you're gonna be tired just be like whatever just give me that thing right or I'll just go through the drive-thru when you get plenty of sleep you're more mindful of the choices you make and I not only obviously was so much healthier because I was getting that sleep because your body does such incredible work for you while you sleep but I also made better choices so getting plenty of sleep is key especially if you're trying to lose weight regulates your hormones there's so much that happens during that time but also making sure you have a consistent bedtime or as close to it as possible will really be a game changer as well number five i added 10 minutes of movement every single day so if you guys have been around here a while you know you've heard this one of the biggest things that i truly believe changed everything for me was committing to move 10 minutes a day. That sounds so small. It sounds so ins ins insignificant. And you're like, well, if I only move for 10 minutes a day, like I'm not gonna burn enough calories to lose weight or whatever, right? It's not about that. This is about creating those healthy habits, making something that's important to you become a part of your routine so that it's second nature. You don't have to think about it. And it has to start small. If you are starting from zero and you try to commit to doing an hour workout every day it's not convenient you're gonna have to carve out all that time if you're driving to a gym or going somewhere else like it just becomes something that's more of a burden and it's very unlikely that you're gonna stick to it and it'll be consistent but if you start small and you just say I'm gonna move 10 minutes a day that could be a walk that could be stretches on my floor that could be going to a class short like whatever it is start with 10 minutes a day and give yourself a time frame to do that that's what I did it was one month 10 minutes a day for one month which that I mean truly like 30 days right that was still a pretty big commitment for me at the time but I knew that I had 10 minutes every day to move and when I showed up for myself consistently every day I started to notice not only 
Did my confidence increase? Did I feel more energized? I felt better, but I started enjoying it. That time for myself was so cool and something I had never experienced before because I got to choose what it looked like, what it meant when I did it. It wasn't me like torturing myself and saying, oh, I have to run three miles every day or I have to do this crazy workout program for two weeks. Like it was really like giving me control over my body, but also falling in love with that process and 10 minutes turned into 15. It turned into 20 because I just started to find that commitment and joy in movement. And that is why you always are gonna find the 10 minute daily 10 in the Love Swimming app, the free workout anyone can access anytime because I want everyone to be able to have something tangible that they can start with, especially if you are new to working out. Number six, this is huge, you guys, huge. I don't care if you write it down, if you just think about it in your head, if you vlog it to yourself, whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where it goes, but something that I did that absolutely completely shifted my mind and my physical body and was a game changer in me losing 45 pounds was I started to track how food made me feel. Not emotionally, but physically, how different foods made me feel. Cause like I said, I was not restrictive. I wasn't saying I'm never gonna eat french fries again or cheese again or burgers or whatever. I didn't do any of that. I still ate everything. But I started paying attention to how my body physically felt after I ate certain food. And what I started to notice was that there were a lot of foods that made me feel physically ill after eating them. I was bloated, I was cramping, I felt maybe a little nauseous, like things that aren't good, things that are not pleasant. And I started realizing like, huh, that thing, every time I eat it, makes me feel like garbage. It didn't have anything to do with the calories, the health benefits or lack thereof in the food. It truly had to feel, had to do with just how I felt. And when I realized that, it made me not want to eat those things. Yeah, of course I was like, oh dang, that kind of sucks. Like I like that thing, right? But I liked it for 30 seconds, five minutes, whatever it was. And then I suffered for half hour, hour, a day. Like it, it wasn't worth it. The trade off was not there. And then I noticed other foods that I would eat and add into my diet that I was like, wow, like the greens, going back to one again. When I started having all these veggies, I'm like, I feel so much better when these foods are entering my body. And so when you pay attention and track how foods make you feel, it makes it super easy to start to get rid of certain ones that maybe just shouldn't be there because whether they're healthy or not, like your body doesn't like them and most of the time they're not healthy. And then it starts helping you introduce new foods in that really do make you feel great. And I think that when you look at food that way versus good or bad or calorie amount, it helps you shift your mindset so that you can really actually create this lifestyle versus just like a quick fix diet to try to lose weight. And number seven, the last one for me was I started making dinner every single night. But as I give you this advice, I think for anyone out there, I know that's not practical for everyone to be able to make dinner every night. For me, it, at the time it made sense. Like I had a very rigid job schedule, so I knew I was always home at a certain time. Like I could make that happen. But if that's not the case for you, I would just say like choose one meal, whether it's breakfast, lunch, a snack, a dinner, one meal that you know you can commit to prepping and making for yourself every single day, especially like at least during the work week, right? Start there. That can be a huge unlock for you to not only feel a lot better, but to start to lose that weight because even healthier options when you eat out have way more sodium. They tend to have more fats. There's a lot more added, even on the healthiest things, right? So when you make it at home, you know exactly what's going in it. You can make those better choices. For me, I was working at a wine bar at the time that kind of this whole journey started. So I've talked about this before. Obviously there was a lot of wine involved in my diet at the time, but also I would be at the wine bar and just like order the mac and cheese and the different foods that they had for dinner sometimes and take those home. And I didn't need to be doing that. It was just really convenient and it was easy and obviously it sounded good. But once I started paying attention to how those foods were making me feel, I wanted them way less. And when I committed to making dinner for myself and then I met Ryan during this time too so for both of us every single night it became like a part of our ritual which was really nice too so again building that lifestyle is what this is all about those little habits that you do each day that add up to a whole lifestyle transformation and I don't necessarily cook dinner every single night now right we order out sometimes but I try to still make that my commitment to make my dinners each night because that's a time that we can connect 
I know I can nourish my body and it's really allows me to again start my day in a healthy way when I get plenty of sleep and I wake up and I get moving my body and stuff but it also allows me to end my day with making that dinner knowing that I'm taking care of myself but truly this one number seven for me is less about it has to be dinner because it doesn't but find something for yourself one meal one snack something a day that you know when all else fails you have that one moment during your day that you can count on that you're going to be fueling your body with something super nutrient rich all right so those were my top seven i feel like as always i have so many of these to share with you guys so if you liked these tips comment down below let me know if you want me to do kind of an extension of this video like a part two with more of them but quick recap so the first habit that I added to my daily routine that really made the biggest difference ever was adding greens or some type of veggie to every single meal. Number two was giving myself positive affirmations. So I just usually set them in my head, but if you wanna write them down, whatever it is, but something each day, it can be the same thing every day to help shift your mindset and change your narrative to be positive to help lift you up and build that confidence. Number three was using my hand as a healthy portion size. So whether I was making meals at home or going out to eat, I knew that I had a really easy guide to make sure I wasn't eating too much and I was getting enough of everything I needed. Number four, get a consistent bedtime, go to bed at the same time every night and try to get the same amount of hours of sleep each day. You will wake up refreshed. It'll allow your body to recover. Your hormones will be more balanced and you'll make better choices each day. Number five, move for at least 10 minutes a day. That was my commitment, that's where I started. Start there, give yourself even a week to commit to that and see how you feel and then continue to build from there. Number six was keeping track of how food made you feel, physically, not mentally, because a cheeseburger with french fries and macaroni and cheese on the side might mentally make me feel good, but physically made me feel really sick. So pay attention to how the different foods are making you feel and adjust what you're putting in your body accordingly. And number seven, I chose to make dinner every single night to make sure I had one meal that I knew was just like, perfectly balanced and nutritious but whatever it looks like for you a snack breakfast just choose one meal a day and make the shift to making that on your own and you will feel so much better are right, you guys i hope you found these helpful i love you so much don't forget good things come to those who sweat and i'll see you next week bye